Here are some of the things that you're going to do to get a grade 9 in GCSE Biology. Diagrams. It sounds really simple, but draw them out and actually have a good time while you're doing it. At school, I was never much of a like make my notes pretty kind of person, but in terms of diagrams, do them and actually enjoy it. Like make them pretty, make them artistic, colour them in, just have fun doing it. This is genuinely going to make it stay in your brain so much better. For example, in my GCSEs, I never really understood the kidneys. I spent like a whole afternoon drawing this kidney diagram. It looked really nice. I was like, I'm quite proud of it. I stuck it up on my wall. It was one of the topics I ended up most confident with. I never forgot it after that. Like, I got my head around it. I remembered specific parts of it. And that was great because there was a sick marker on it in the actual exam. So this one sounds really simple, but I think it actually will work. Flashcards for definitions and small details. Huge mistake that a lot of people make are trying to put diagrams on flashcards. Flashcards are meant to be small pieces of information. You don't want an entire diagram of like the heart on a flashcard. It's going to completely overwhelm you with information and it's going to be really hard to revise from. You want to have a question and an answer or a definition, a mnemonic or small pieces of information. I actually have a video on how you can effectively make flashcards as well, so check the playlist for that. Past papers. Out of all the sciences, in my opinion, biology was the hardest to master the exam technique for. I feel like this four, fives and six markers were most difficult to get four marks in in biology. The way in which I got around this, I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing. Practice is really, really key for success in this subject. You need to get every past paper and do every single one of them. Do as much exam practice as possible because it A, helps you manage your time when you're doing questions and B, when you're marking the exam, you are going to be looking at the mark scheme and knowing exactly what that examiner is looking for in terms of specific phrases and keywords they want to see in your answer. And C is just a fantastic form of active recall, literally any exam question. You are thinking about what that answer is and you're recalling that from your memory. You're not passively reading it off a piece of paper, it is coming from your own knowledge. Do as much exam practice as possible, I think this is the most key for biology, especially for the longer answer questions. If you like this video, then follow for more GCSE tips.